Hello and welcome. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to be having a look at a good, really, really good way of farming orbs of expansion, which is these fellas here. Um, as you can see, we've got a fair few. Um, you may have found that um, when you've been building stuff, uh, it starts off quite easy. Yeah, I can, I can build a campfire, build bits and pieces. All of a sudden, you're finding yourself needing these orbs of expansion to be able to build the more advanced buildings, these guys up here. So, um, it, then they can be quite tricky to come across. Um, it's so, I thought I'd do a little guide uh, to teach you just a, a nice, easy way of doing it so that um, you can get yourself a nice supply. So, um, I'm going to be doing this um, using, uh, I'm going to be on level two. Um, so it's not too difficult purely uh, just as a little farming exercise and I'm going to be using a rogue um, the cards I'm going to take I am going to take arsenal uh, just so I can um, get an extra item piece being used and uh, well I'll explain why I'm using these cards uh, uh, in a second but the the way to actually get the orbs of expansion is you need to be defeating enemies so there's five um, enemies on a tile so we need to pair, pick cards that are going to help us get five um, enemies per tile so I'm picking um, cards that actually spawn enemies so uh, the ruins can spawn two worms and um, so that helps us get the numbers up the grove obviously spawns uh, the cemetery the swamp does as well but I don't want uh, loads uh, spider cocoon is a great way of chucking extra uh, enemies onto an adjacent tile and the vampire mansion as well um, will also throw a vampire onto quite a large coverage. Uh, to help us uh, combat uh, all these um, enemies, I'm going to be bringing Bloodgrove because that is really helpful at mopping up enemies. Uh, and I'm because I'm a rogue and I want to increase my um, attack speed as I'm going, I'm going to bring the forest and I'm going to bring river uh, just to double the effects and that should do is okay hopefully so we shall see so i'm going to start an expedition they will just go on level two and uh we will start our loops so what i'll do is while i build up just the card sets that i need is um, we will skip to that point. I think I don't really think you want to be watching uh, this whole thing. Okay, um, I've got a few of the cards I need, uh, so I am going to start putting them down just so they don't get replaced. So I'm going to start placing them uh, in the tiles adjacent to my village. Uh, the reason being there is because I've built the watchtowers um, within the village, which means on the tiles uh, next door to it, uh, you're going to get archers which will support you. So I'm going to pop a grove uh, next to each one. Then we also want a vampire mansion uh, to be able to cover both of these guys. So we can put that in there, which would be very nice. Uh, and before I place that, just want to talk about the spider um, cards. I can't remember what they're called. What are they called? Spider cocoon? Something along those lines. Um, just bear in mind where you place it because if you place it incorrectly the spiders can spawn on any adjacent tile so you want to be placing it in an area where they can only spawn where you want them to so i.e. into the uh, tiles that we want to have five enemies or more on so when we get them I'm going to put the uh, spider uh, card here so it can only um, put uh, an enemy onto here and I'll put the other one up here so we can only go onto here. If I were to put it in the corner uh, it can cover all of these three squares so you're reducing uh, the chance of it actually appearing where you want it to appear. Um, I think if I remember rightly as well my uh, towers are upgraded enough where it will cover even further so I'll plonk something down there we'll see if we'll make our way around and we'll see if um, I am indeed right or if uh, I'm making it riskier than it needs to be. Hopefully I've got it right and um, you see how quickly with that support of the archers how quickly we can take down the enemies. And then we just need to wait to get our spider cards. 
So let's see, do we have archers? Oh, there's no enemy there. That's not, we're not going to find out this time round. Okay, perhaps on the end of the next loop we'll find out. Okay, so we've now got a spider cocoon. So we're going to get that guy loaded up here. So uh, this uh, tile is going to start to become very uh, heavily populated. What I didn't think about is that the uh, grove card that I brought, uh, the little rat wolf that uh, is spawned from it, can wander, unfortunately. Uh, and it, he's actually buggered off to the tile that we don't want him to go on, which is a little bit unfortunate. But um, hopefully you will soon, uh, you'll still get to see uh, the benefit of this technique. So there we go, so uh, yeah, we're at the cemetery and we've got full archer cover, which is fantastic. So uh, they will do most of the work for you. And okay, fantastic, we've got a blood grove as well. So the reason I like to bring this card is what it will do, as you can see in the little tooltip on the bottom, is when the enemies get down to less than 15% HP, the uh, roots uh, from the blood grove just come up and get rid of them completely so it just once again it makes it loads easier to finish off those few remaining enemies so we'll plonk that down we'll get a vampire mansion to cover this one as well so you can see what we're doing we're just really maximizing that one area for now of where we can get um, maximum enemies so hopefully on the loop after this start to see us um, gaining what have we got here oh fantastic we do like old scars I'm not really being too picky with my loot for the purpose of this so um, just selecting better stuff so there you go you can see how the effective those roots are they absolutely just demolish stuff um, as soon as, as soon as it's looking weak. Oh, fantastic, we've got another spider cocoon. So I'll pop that one there. Okay, so you'll see here uh, that we're building up a nice uh, supply here. So this tile, for instance, when we get back around to this one, we are going to have our five enemies already because uh, of the vampire mansion is going to spawn the fifth one that we need. So... Um, Let's see, uh, we'll bring up the loot screen, we'll see if we've got one. Oh, we've already got a little bit of expansion room somewhere. Now, even though we've got the required number of um, enemies on the tiles, it doesn't guarantee um, that you're going to get uh, the drop that you want uh, in terms of the orb of expansion but um, if you don't have the setup right you don't stand a chance at all so I think we just go on there didn't we we only had one a second ago but you can see um, just how easy this is if you uh, build up those um, arch towers in your village um, it just makes it an absolute breeze we've taken hardly any um, damage whatsoever. Dead, dead easy. And have we already leveled up again as well? Fantastic. Oh, I'm even getting some of my favourite perks. So that once again, we've got another one. We're on loop five, and we've already got three orbs of expansion. Let's put down some more cards. Uh, other cards you can can use if you want to to um, help boost the numbers of uh, enemies on tiles is I believe the if you use the battlefield card uh, which can allow enemies to spawn as ghosts once you kill them that ghost will count uh, as a fifth one fantastic we've got another one and I know I've chosen the rogue here but absolutely no reason there uh, you can't use any class that you want whatever you feel comfortable with it's more about the setup and how to load things so that you get uh, maximum coverage 
So we can chuck a does Vampire Mansion cover everything. I think we're completely covered there. So we've got all these ones here. Uh, if you feel that your uh, character is strong enough, you can start to set up a whole other uh, one anywhere on the loop that you want. So we can get a Vampire Mansion. And then we can start chucking uh, like a grove or a cemetery, whatever. You can put the spider um, cocoon here. And once you've got another space where it's fully loaded. <laughs> Um, the, the ruins are quite good uh, because they spawn two blood worms. What I would say with the ruins is try not to have them next to another fully loaded tile because the uh, worms that spawn can actually attack um, you uh, on either side as well. So they will appear as sort of missile support, which is uh, potentially bad news. So then you're not just fighting four, five enemies, you're fighting seven, which uh, will make things pretty challenging. So uh, just be careful if you're going to use the ruins. But once again here we've got a nice little setup where quite easily, probably on the next loop round, we're going to have another opportunity to get uh, an orb of expansion. So Alan, we've, we've been doing this now, what, sort of five, ten minutes? Ten minutes maybe? So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five tiles where... Uh, we could chuck a ruins down as well if we wanted to there it might be a bit risky because of that range support um where we can average potentially one or two um orbs of expansion per run plonk a cemetery down there so once again we have uh, another opportunity to get five on there we'll probably have to put down the spider again I think I might block that one off, unfortunately. But let's see, we'll just finish this loop and we'll see if we get any more. Just love watching that, um, uh, archer support just absolutely decimates um, the enemies. I'm getting some good gear on this run. Oh, I hate stuff with evasion. Don't give me evasion. Magic damage will take though. Yes, please. Anyway, this isn't a, this video isn't about gear. Sorry, easily sidetracked there. Got another one now. We seem to be leveling up incredibly quickly. What have we got here? Might as well do that. Okay, so we've got one more as well, so fantastic. So, loop seven, we've got six orbs of expansion. So, you can see how quickly uh, you can build them up. Um, within a few loops, but I think it was loop 5 we were getting our first one, so it's a nice little uh, setup you can do so just make sure that you uh, get those watchtowers built, uh, they are an incredible asset certainly around um, what the uh, 4 or so tiles uh, around your village uh, makes it just, just absolutely bunches through the enemies makes it really really easy and I'd say within about 20 minutes half an hour um, you can have a really good loop set up uh, where you're just farming these orbs of expansion uh, with without breaking the sweat whatsoever so um, that is it for me if I'm honest so um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch and um, hope you found it useful and um, if you have please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel because there's going to be some more loop hero videos coming and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.